Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to November Vlogs. Today's Tuesday and I'm about to make tomato soup. So I thought I would bring you in the kitchen, show you what I'm doing. I'm just following a recipe so I don't know how well that's going to go. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan for now. Let's get started. So I found this recipe online um, and it is Slim and World Tomato Soup. Um, it's on the website strikerpose.co.uk. The ingredients you will need is two tins of chopped tomatoes. I've got two tins. One tin of baked beans. One tin or fresh carrots. I've got um, a tin of carrots. Three pickled onions and one vegetable stock cube. And it's supposed to taste like Heinz tomato soup. So I'm going to boil the kettle, get the stock cube ready. Um, you need to boil um, the stock cube in half a pint of water, or dissolve it. Um, is that what I said? Did I say boil? You have to dissolve the stock cube in half a pint of water. So I've got my jug. Put everything in the pan. And let it simmer for 20 minutes, it says. Um, I'm going to put it on really low. Uh, so let's see how this goes. And that's it. Put everything in and wait 20 minutes. Um, I've got it on really low, so I'm going to wait 20 minutes and see what it's like. And then uh, blitz it up. It smells really good. Um, so yeah, let's let's see. So I was too excited. And I blended it already. <laughs> um, but oh, it smells so good. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I just blended it with this hand blender. And it is nice and smooth now. Um, so I'm going to turn it, I've turned the heat off, there's loads here, oh it looks so good, it smells good too, I might try making more soups, like for lunches and stuff, um, yeah, so that is lunch for today, that I'll eat probably in a little while. Good evening, it's now uh, quarter past nine. Um, and I thought I would come on and go through my sock yarn for Amanda's from Little Like Axe Sock Along next year. So uh, I was watching Alex's vlog and she was going through hers and I've seen other people go through theirs as well and I'm like I really want to go through mine and just see what I can pull out. Um, so I've got my two boxes here full of yarns, my hand dyed and my commercial. Um, so I thought I would just go through uh, what I've got, which is not a lot. I thought it was more than what I've got, but it's it's not, and that's that's fine. Um, but I want to go through yarns and just see what I look at and think, oh yes, I do want to make socks out of this, um, and if it's pretty and stuff. So that's the plan. Um, so I need 12 balls of yarn or skeins. I have been working on my Whitmore and I have got one row before I split for sleeves. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, the only thing that's getting on my nerves a bit 
is that my needle, I don't know if you'll see this, my needle keeps coming undone and no matter how tight I do it with the key and everything, it just still keeps coming undone. Um, and it's not straight anymore either. So I don't know if it's the cable or the needle. They're Knit Pro needles and this one is um, the plastic ones. can't remember what they're called now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm enjoying working on it. It's nice. Uh, I'm going to carry on uh, tonight and split for sleeves and then hopefully get a little bit of the body done. Probably not much, but a little bit of the body done. I want to go to bed at a reasonable time tonight. <laughs> Um, I've got to get up a little bit earlier because I've got someone collecting some laser stuff that I've done for them, uh, a friend. So I need to get up. At, I need to go to bed at a re reasonable time, and I need to get up at a reasonable time. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I do have my scales here just in case I want to weigh yarn if it is um, like leftovers and that. So I've got my scales um, in this box here this one that lives in the living room in the eight square and this is my commercial yarn I have got lots of project bags that have nothing in them oh that has something in it oh that's just got some <laughs> DK uh, pink in it random so let's move those out the way this is my cozy memory this is a pair of socks that I've got a little bit on. Um, I could probably actually finish these. Uh, so this is the Stylecraft Head Over Heels in the colour Ingle, Ingleborough. Ingleborough. Um, sorry about the light. The light is not brilliant. It's dark, obviously. Um, and today was, has been dark all day, so I don't think natural light would be e be any better. <laughs> I've got the light over here on, and I've got the lamp that is behind you. You could probably see yourself here somewhere in the mirror, but uh, it's a really pretty colour. Um, and I was just going to do a long tube, but then I decided not to do a long tube and just put a heel in. Um, but I don't know what colour heel. I thought I had a yarn that I picked out but I haven't I'm, I'm not sure because I don't like when it's striped I don't like to mess up the stripes with a fish lips kiss heel I like to normally have um, a fish lips kiss or um, a, no a heel flap and gusset or a after sort heel I've not decided that's that Another empty project bag with just a notepad in. A, another empty notions pouch. Another empty bag and another empty bag that's got something in it. Oh, that's got some yarn in it that is no good for being in there. Um, it was so the socks that I made for um, my friend, my neighbour. Um, and I made a pair for myself, so I made two pairs, um, so that can just go to one side. I got this yarn cosy, um, actually from Timu, it's a Christmas one, so I probably will use that. Um, I will probably take it away with me and put my project yarn in that. More bags, I've just got tote bags. Ah, this is my uh, Denise's Shopping for Yarn bag. I use this when I go to yarn shows. Uh, my sister made me that. Um, another tote bag. I've got this Christmas bag, which I am going to be using. It's drawstring. It's from um, Jiburi Russo's. Yeah. I love their bags so much. A yarn cosy. And another bag. This bag is ideal because it's got a popper on it, so you can hang it over. Oh, it's got two lavender bags in there. Right, I'm at the yarn. I am at 
the yarn. <laughs> um, I don't know any plain yarn. I might keep to one side to see if I want to do heels, toes and cuffs. Um, but then anything else I'm just going to sort of pull out. So let's, um, where should I put this? <laughs> um, let's move that over a bit. Oh, I've also got a jar that has got scraps in it. And that's mainly why I've bought the, um, the scales. Let's put the scales over there a second. Okay, where shall I start? Um, the first yarn is this. Now, I definitely want to make socks out of this. This is a yarn that my lovely friend Sally uh, sent to me. It's Cascade Yarn Heritage Prints in the colour 118. It's grey and pink, which are my colours even though I'm wearing yellow and orange and whatever today uh, but grey and pink so this is a definite yes that's a definite definite yes I love that okay the next one is a drops fable um, I have made socks out of this before 153 it's an orangey colour I don't think I'll be making socks out of this I don't think uh, the next the next one that I'm going to put in this is uh, St Snuggly Stars Yarn uh, in the colourway Opal Fruits. Now, I was supposed to be making Halloween socks with this uh, this year, but I never got round to it. I did take it away with me, uh, and I just never got round to it. So, the plan is to put this as a... October yarn I know that's like nearly a whole year away um, but I just think it screams Halloween like pumpkins um, so yeah that's definitely gonna stay the first two are staying <laughs> um, I've got these two here which are both West Yorkshire spinners one is in the colourway do they have names so this is Peacock and this one doesn't have a name. They're both blue. So this one's Peacock and this one is unnamed. But I don't know whether it's uh, 844, the colourway. They're both very similar and I do really like both of them. Like really, really like both of them. Um, I just, I'm going to wrap these up and mix them up and then put numbers on them so I don't want them to come out together so I might have a maybe pile uh, and I think I'm going to definitely put this one in because this one is quite nice this is the unnamed one uh, that is a definite and then a maybe can just go on the top of that box for now the next one is um, Regia Regia however um, four ply and this is the one where you have the yellow stripes to um, knit the socks, if that makes sense. I've just noticed that Sally's put a note to say this is not full. Um, I'm assuming that is, it, it still seems very full, but I'm not going to put this into the uh, knit along. This one here I've made socks with already, as you can tell, and I will not be putting this in. This is a Nako Boho yarn. It's 7525, um, but I will not be using this. I think I made my dad socks with this. I'm sure I did, but yeah, that is not going into that. The next one is another West Yorkshire Spinners, and this is in Winter Icicle. Very, very lovely. Um, yes it is wintry no it's not very Christmassy uh, and I've already got a blue I will probably end up having more than one blue and one pink or whatever um, I might put this in the maybe pile the next one is opal um, and I have been keeping this because uh, I don't know whether to knit socks with it or something else I really don't know. Um, I was gifted this yarn and um, when it was gifted I in the note it said I could use it for a giveaway or use it as my own 
Um, and I'm still undecided because it is so very pretty. So this is going to go in the no pile. And then I've got uh, this here, which I think was a West Yorkshire spinner as well. Is this it? Oh, yes. So this is Gypsophilia. Um, this is the ball band. It was a gift. Um, I was gifted this yarn and I have done socks out of this. And if you remember, I did my green socks with the blue and pink heels, toes and cuffs. Um, really, really pretty. I really like it. Uh, but I will not be using this for the knit along next year. Um, what else next? Maybe pulling the hair out would be good. <laughs> Uh, the next one, so this one is Snuggly Stars Yarn again, and this is Toasted Marshmallow. It's a sock set, and it is absolutely beautiful. I really, really like it, and I really would like to cast this on. Um, so I might put this in, as well as my opal fruits. The next one is a Zuba Ball, and it is in the colour... Mm, is there a colour name on these I'm not sure I'll show you the tag oh I hope you can see that um and I have made socks with a Zuba ball before um it wasn't my favorite I think I got this when the yarn shop was closing down I think um so I will not be using that I don't want to go into too much of a story about the yarn but yeah. <laughs> um, the next one is this, which is Stolecraft uh, Head Over Heels All Stars, and this is called Pool. Um, it is really pretty. I've got a lot of blue and green yarns for some reason. Um, do I want to make socks with it? Does it spark joy? Mm, not really. <laughs> I might put it in the maybe just because just because I'll put it in the maybe um the next yarn is this which is Katia Dunyubio I am probably butchering that name and it's in the colour 300 um, made in Romania I got this when I was in Malta I think um it's really pretty would it make good socks or would it make something else that is quite pretty it's a bit rough to be honest it is 75 25 um but it's like it's not a merino or anything so i'm not sure it can go in the maybe i think there's going to be more in the maybe than the actual <laughs> definite <laughs> um, the next one is another West Yorkshire Spinners and this is the um, what colourway is this Woodland Awake and it is this colourway it's really really pretty I really like it so this is going in the yes pile the next one, oh, I've got another one of them drops fable in orange that I'm not going to be using, um, but at least I know I've got two if I do want to make another pair in the future. I've got the next one is this, which is Cozy Toes. Um, is there a name? V and A Products. I don't know whether that's a thingy name or oh, it's Teddy. Oh God, it's a Teddy yarn and it's in the colour. So at 971 I made socks out of a yarn I think it was green is it green no it was pink and purple actually they're not the best socks they peel very very easily um, and a bit of them felted so it's put me off using this one so this is going to go in the no pile for now um, the next yarn, obviously there's still lots of yarn in here, but I'm just thinking on, that can go in there. 
uh, what to pull out. So this yarn here is the uh, Regia Zufari colours. This is red and blue. Um, and I'm thinking of using this for Mikey and Ollie. Uh, just because they they absolutely love Spider-Man at the moment. And these are perfect Spider-Man colours. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know whether to hold it double. Because Ollie actually wants another dinosaur jumper. So I made Mikey a Dino Raw jumper by Megan Regan. A couple of years ago now. And Ollie's now wearing it. And it was like, Nitty, I need another one that's bigger. <laughs> um, so this is going to be the no pile. Like I said, I've got plain yarns. So I've got a couple here. Um, and most of these that I've got here were gifted to me by Nancy. Um, I've got them. I've got a green. Oh, there's a green at the bottom. I've got pinks. Oh, that's all going to fall. Um, I've got this like taupey colour. This is really pretty. Um, another blue or a couple of blues. Um, oh, some more blues. Oh, and some yellow. I've got three of these mustardy colours. Oh, they're going to fall. I just know they are. <laughs> So I've got all of these that are um, plain. So where do I put these? <laughs> now I've done this. Oh, let's chuck them there for a second. Um, and I can put them all in order. I've got this, which I made socks with. I made, I made dinosaur socks. Uh, my Jurassic Park socks with these. With this yarn. There is two here, I think. I'm not sure. Um, the other one ain't in here, so... I'm assuming it's they've been wrapped together. I found another plain one. The plain yarns would be good as also for um, pattern socks, like if it's got a nice pattern on it. Um, anyway, so yeah, not gonna, not going to be using that. The next one, I've got sort of one and a half of these. Have I made socks with this? I can't remember. I don't think I have. This is Drops Fable in the colour 340. It's nice. It's blue. I can't remember what I used it for, but it's going to be a no. I've got this, which is Drops Delight print in the colour 19. This is really, really pretty. I have made a pair of socks out of this before as well. Um, not this colourway, a different colourway, and it peeled like crazy, because I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but it's not twisted very well, it's not plied. Anyway, this is a yarn that I will not be using, because it just, it's not very nice to knit with either, to be perfectly honest, I found another plain one. Um, right, I have got this yarn. Which is Drops Fable again in the colour 911. And this has been used as well. It's really pretty. And it reminds me of Christmas. So this could go in a Christmas. And I'm thinking of doing Christmas in July as well. So having two pairs of Christmas. Um, and instead of doing like December Christmas. I would do November Christmas socks. Anyway. Right, so that is going to be a yes. I'm going to stick that to the yes pile. I've got this yarn here that is attached to, <laughs> to a project. <laughs> um, it is Serdar Heart and Soul. And it's in colour 0163. And it is attached to a sock. It's not a sock. It's attached to... A bit of knitting uh, on a small nine inch circular that I just cannot get my head around using. Um, I just, yeah, I really like the yarn though, it's pretty. I've dropped the ball of yarn now. It is really nice, so I know I can always just take this back and it's a full ball. Um, 
So what shall I do? This really nice yarn. I thought it, they're quite like manly colours, aren't they? Like it's a manly coloured sock. I'll put that in the maybe because I'm not sure yet. I've got this that were gifted to me by Nancy as well. This is 913 Drops Fable. Two of these. And it's like a black and grey and blue and white. Yeah, it's a lot of different colours. It's really pretty. No. <laughs> not not at this current moment in time. Um, I've got this one which is in red pots and it's the um, head over heels all stars. I've had to sellotape the the label. Um, looks like this. I have used it for socks before. It's really nice. The socks are quite nice. I'm trying to think. Um, but no. The next one is this green one. I have made socks out of this. Um, they were nice and I didn't mind working with them and I'm sure I have got I, I have still got these socks because I did gift a lot of socks to my sister because she likes the short leg um, like the really short cuff um, no it's not to bring me joy this yarn here is one that I got from a company called Lolly's Little Wool Shack. Now, me and Nancy have been talking a lot lately about how much we miss Lolly's Little Wool Shack and the cakes and the yarns and all the different bits and pieces that you could get from them. So they used to order yarn from Turkey, get it delivered in the biggest container you've ever seen, <laughs> all full of yarn, and then sell it on their website and then they had a shop as well. Anyway, I got this yarn from there. It's called Funny. I don't really know how to say that word or anything. It is a sock yarn. Um, but I just don't really know if I want to use it. I don't know. I've had it for so long. And I think it's more of a sport weight than a... Because I, I don't know whether that means it's a four at six ply. But it is, um, it's a 150 gram uh, ball and it's 75.25. So yeah, I'm not sure, but this is going to be a no for now. I've got a pot of for stitch markers that will come in handy. I've got this that was from Lolly's Little Wool Shack as well. And this is called Steinbach Woolly. I think I've got two of these and it's in the shade I don't really know 150552 probably means nothing because it's quite an oldish yarn but it's quite beige it's very beige so this is going to be a no and then I've got this yarn which I used um, for my showish, uh, palm your knits top I did the rib in this um, I think these would be really nice socks to be fair um, I, I think I've, I have definitely got enough to make socks and they'd be quite funky so I'm going to put that in the yes pile then lastly I've got this yarn again from Lolly's Little Wool Shack um, this is Nako Comfort Stretch. This yarn is stretchy. And that is why I have not used it. Because I don't really know what to do with it. I don't really know how it would work. And I know, Denise, just put it on the needles and swatch it. Like, it's not, it's not really that hard. But, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be a no. Right, I'm going to put all of this yarn back in this box that I am not using and I'll be back. So you would have seen the first part of me sorting out my yarn, which is my commercial sock yarn. Um, I have filmed the hand dyed section, but the vlog is just going to be 
forever. So I'm going to leave that until tomorrow. You'll see the second half and my final decisions tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what I've chosen. Um, I have pulled out a couple of yarns that I want to possibly cast on, but you'll see that tomorrow because they are hand dyed yarns. Um, I haven't, all of the yarns that I've chose are four balls. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with what I've chose. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here uh, because it's really, really long anyway, and then half of it I'm going to have to put tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my, my stash, and I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.